Hey guys, Nayesh here and in this video we are going to review this One UI ROM which is Samsung's new software for their flagship devices like S9, Note 9 and we have ROM available for that and in this video I am going to review this ROM and we will let you know if it's worth it or not. And the funny thing is some of the Samsung S9 and S8 hasn't got this update yet and here we are we have One UI installed on our OnePlus 6 and that's the power of custom ROMs. So after many years, Samsung finally got rid of those TouchWiz OS and they created Samsung Experience Room and after that, with Android Pie Update, they have created this One UI which is actually very good, it is smooth, snappy and doesn't lag at all on Samsung devices as I personally use Samsung S9 Plus and One UI on that is completely perfect, it gives extra battery life. And even though this is port, it doesn't feel like port. As you can see, everything is very smooth and snappy. All the animations are working properly. And let me quickly show you in about section that this is really a Samsung One UI with Pi update. So this is the kind of home screen you get in Samsung One UI. As you can see we have all Samsung icons and when you swipe up you directly go into app drawer and here we have search option and as you can see this is infinity scroll so when you swipe up or when you swipe down you always go to app drawer and that's the way it is. So in notification drawer we have few extra features like Samsung's power mode and that works actually very good. With this power saving mode you get extra battery life, then there is Dolby Atmos in case you want to listen to your music on your phone speaker. And then we have Samsung's famous always on display and with this feature you get plenty of clock to choose from. Also you can download many always on display clocks from Samsung store because Samsung store is working in this port. So customization is basically unlimited if you are considering this room for customization. Apart from always on display clock style, you get lock screen clock style also and as I said you can completely make your device unique with these features. And then we have this night mode also known as dark mode in Android. Now you can use this if you are using your phone at night or you want to save your battery life. But you will only save your battery life if you have AMOLED display. So this is definitely an achievement for ROM users as you get to use Samsung OS on other phones. Hopefully developers release this OS for the phones also apart from OnePlus 6. So not only you get this look and Samsung OS, with this you can take benefit of different Samsung apps like Samsung Health, Samsung Camera, Samsung Notes if you are into that. So basically with this room you actually can use Samsung OS without buying that expensive Samsung phone which cost around $1200 in Australia for Samsung S9 Plus and I know that's a crazy pricing. So this is Samsung setting menu and as you can see this is Samsung's OS. Now let me quickly show you what kind of apps you get with this room. Of course we get Galaxy Store from where you can install any Samsung dedicated app in this phone. Then we have Samsung Contacts, Smart Switch in case you are switching from different phone, Samsung Gallery, Samsung Clock, of course the setting menu, Samsung Calendar, Smart Manager and Samsung's file manager which is actually quite good. You don't need to install any third party file manager because Samsung sometimes care about their users. So Wi-Fi is working and Bluetooth is working as well as the power saving mode on this room is working completely fine and keep in mind this power saving mode is better than the stock USB's power saving mode because this power saving mode is specially designed for Samsung experience. With this power saving mode, you might get around 6.5 hours of screen on time which is impossible to get even in Oxygen OS and forget about the stock room. Now what's not working? NSC is not working. Blue light is not working. LS Lighted is not working because of course this is OnePlus 6. 
then brightness of always on display is always 100% where in Samsung devices you can actually choose brightness of always on display clock. So there are few bugs in this room developer is working really hard for next update and hopefully in the next update most of this thing will be fixed. And this room is quite smooth as you can see there is no lag so far but the question is can you use this as your daily driver. Yes guys there are few bugs and few things are not working but you can use this one as your daily driver. So if you want to install this room a step by step guide along with download link will be in the description box below but before you go ahead and download this room please like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel. This is your friend Nas signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.